So it's 15.30 p.m. It is Friday afternoon. Happy Friday. I got movie reviews. I am backed up on some stuff I forgot to do. So we're going to do both Candyman movies. The original from 90 to... Yeah, 92 and 2021. And I watched something else. I don't remember what it was. I don't remember. But we're going to do Candyman, so fuck it. <laughs> so 2021 Candyman. I watched this about 18 days ago. <laughs> Finished Candyman 2021, and that was fantastic. Man, I really enjoyed it. Jordan Peele and Nia DaCosta make a hella great team. They do. I liked it. Love the cutout puppet illustrating. Puppets illustrating the story from start to finish. That is some innovative shit. I love that. So good. Anthony's transformation was brutally demented. Oh, yes it was. Oh, it was so brutal. Seeing Tony Todd again was dope. And people were complaining that he wasn't in it enough, but whatever. The whole scope of this film was amazing for me. To be honest, I wish there were more black horror films and serial killer shit. It's top notch. Definitely. I want more black horror films, honestly. And if you're sitting there watching, it's like, well, have you seen Get Out? I'm like, no. <laughs> I didn't really want to see that. I still don't want to see it. I just, I don't know. Uh, Jordan Peele's work that I've seen is phenomenal and intriguing. Yeah. Uh, what have I seen it as? This and something else. I forget. Oh, us. That. Oh, man. It was crazy. Gonna watch the original since I haven't seen it in decades, too. Overall, worth the rewatch and a solid 8 1 out of 10. Now, like, it's scary. It's good. It's very, um. It's a good slow build-up, and I like that. It's a good slow burn. I like that shit. Then we got Candyman. So I finished it, and as iconic as it is, I'd say it's a median 8 out of 10. Yeah. It's challenging, deep, scary, but doesn't stick with me like I thought it would. Because for years after I'd seen it, I was like, oh, it's so fucking good. It's amazing. I do love Tony Todd and Clive Barker's visionary gifts, but I don't know. Maybe it was right place, wrong time to watch. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about that shit. Like, both of them are great. The original is hardcore iconic. I'm not going to take away from that. But, I don't know. I mean, it's... I don't know. It's it's very haunting. Tony Todd really rejuvenated the horror genre with his voice and just how he absorbed into being Candyman and shit, and how he went and how he worked that dialogue so well, and it was so beautifully written, and I love that. Um. And I definitely want to say Clive Barker is one of the original, is one of the easiest underrated original horror artists in the genre. Because when you hear Clive Barker, it says Hellraiser and shit. And that's understandable, but there's other things he's done. He's done Nightbreed, he's done Candyman, he's done, um, was it Book of Blood, I think? I think that's the right title. Let me see here. I can't remember. I think that's the right name, though. Come on, sir. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Fucking mic don't want to work. Yeah, Book of Blood. Yep. Yeah, I never watched that, but I did see the previews for it, and I, I want to see it, but I haven't watched it yet, so, yeah. But yeah, Clive Barker's done a lot of different work over the years, but everybody always comes back to Hellraiser because it's so iconic. I'm like, I don't know. But yeah, between the two of them, which one was better, which was superior? 
diehard fans will say the original was the best, while others will say the new one outdid the original. For me, I, I don't know. I'm torn on it. Because I like both of them. They're both great. And... I don't know. It's really hard to choose which one's the best. And I just, I really don't know. But I guess I'll go with the original, I guess. <laughs> That's all I can really figure is to go with the original. I mean, I love the new one. Because it, it's a, it establishes a lot of shit, and the new one that's out is a sequel to the original. Which, I didn't know until I watched it. I was like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess the original. But then again, I really enjoy the shit out of the new one. Because it's much more... It's a better build-up, I would say, in terms of, you know, getting you into the suspense of it and watching him transform into Candyman. So, on that note, I'd have to say 2021's is more superior in that aspect. But damn, you can't top Tony Todd with bees in his mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Whoo! Fuck. I wonder how many takes that took for him to do that shit. Like, fuck. Oh, man. Ooh, crazy, crazy, crazy. But, yeah. So, if you don't like Candyman, you don't like black people, you don't like horror, you don't like remakes or sequels, these ain't for you. Just saying. If you're a racist piece of shit and you watch this out of hatred, well, I mean, you might have problems. Just saying, you might want to get some help. But, yeah. but if you like these as a whole, no issues at all, and you enjoy them thoroughly, you're going to have a great time. I promise. But, <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, he's also done Lord of Illusions. That's a damn good cult classic, in my opinion. Definitely a cult classic that does not get enough recognition like Nightbreed. Oh, love that movie. Uh, so, that's what I got. So I'll be back a little later with some other shit. Stay tuned.